As the valley grows with population and people living on tight budgets, the need for more community services grow, and that's where the Foothills Food Bank and Resource Center comes in to help take care of some of those pressures and take them off the families. And joining me is with the Food Bank, Lee Zydonik. Nice. I'd say it right there. You, you go. did. Well, good. How are you doing? I am great. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, but we know right now um, there is a very big need for a lot of services in our community because, as I said, the valley's growing. Yep. The budgets are tight. They are. We are seeing, again, people who uh, that we usually wouldn't see coming and getting help. And that is where the Foothills Food Bank and Resource comes in to give those people, as we said, a little relief yes. in what they need. So we do provide a lot of different things. We have food, of course. Uh, we have three community pantries. We have one in Cave Creek, one in New River, and one up in Black Canyon City. And along with that, we provide resources and referrals for those needs. Yeah, and that is the most important part there, the referrals, because yes. you're not there to take all the burden off. Correct. You're there to guide them to the right places. Exactly. And that's something that's really important. So let's talk about some of the resources that you help them with. So we can um, help with some of the financial assistance. We also have um, access to SNAP, Light Heat, um, access, some of those different programs that are federal. We can get people signed up for that. Yeah, and the problem is because a lot of people don't know about them or know what's going on. They might exactly. Google certain things, but they're like, how, how do I get this? How do I new maneuver it? And that's where the resource and the food banks comes in to help exactly. get them to those places. So we have some wonderful folks who can help go through that and, and just help maneuver and guide and navigate those services because they are very complicated sometimes to get through. Yeah, and as we see a school getting back, we're seeing some other resources that families need, right. uh, especially as you know they are kind of new to the valley too. They are, um, and we have we just had a back to school program, much like you had earlier today, suiting those kiddos up. We had backpacks, we had school supplies, books. Um, so it was just wonderful to see the kids getting ready to go back to school and be excited because they had the supplies that they needed. Because it is, it's so expensive to get started. Okay, let's talk about how people can help because that's also the other part too of helping the food bank and the resource right. center. So we always can use donations um, of food and monetary, volunteers, um, just word of mouth as well. Getting the word out. If you know someone that could use some help, please refer them to the Foothills Food Bank um, or other food banks that might be in their area. We are in northern Maricopa counties and southern Yavapai County. Yeah. And, and the big part is that you want families to know that you're there for them. I think sometimes eagles get in the way. Uh, eagles get in the way of people getting help, yes. and that's why you're saying if you know someone, right. they might not show up, but you can show up for them. Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a big stigma to go into a food bank, so we try to make that as easy as possible. We have a client choice pantry. Folks get to come in and shop for what they want, what they need. Um, so just trying to make it as easy and helpful as possible. And I think people also be surprised. The food banks has fresh produce too, which is amazing because we have these farmers who actually get done with their crops, they get sold and they have extra ones over and they don't want it to go to waste. Right, so we are part of the grocery rescue program. So we collect from 29 different stores seven days a week. So we have fr fresh produce, bakery, deli, meat, dairy, as well as other canned goods and things like that that you would think in a normal food bank. Yeah. What about volunteers? Do you need volunteers? We are so blessed. We have wonderful volunteers, So, but we could always use more. Yeah, that's important right there. Yeah. Um, anything else we want to talk about? Because I know at this time it's very important to get the word out, as we said. Right. People are actually coming back in the valley from maybe yeah. being in another state cooling off yes. and, and maybe even working and now coming here. So we are, because of the growth, we had a 50% increase in client visits last year. So we are expanding. We are getting ready to build a new facility on Cave Creek Road. Um, so we're very excited about that. So check us out on our website and see all the th fun things that we have going on. Yeah, I like that and all the different ways you can volunteer. And again, uh, if you do know somebody out there or even yourself, yes need to uh, visit the food banks, how can they do that? So look us up on our website, foothillsfoodbank.com. You can also go findhelp.org. Um, if, if that will help anywhere in the valley. Um, so there are a lot of resources out there, 211. So if you need help or you know someone that does need help, please look up some of those resources. We are all here working together to help people. Right. Lee, thank you very much for joining us. Thank so, you. Thank you.